So it's come to my attention that a lot of these forex traders are now transitioning over to futures which makes me very very happy for the longest i wondered why people still chose to trade forex especially with all the prop firms that are closing down the future space is just way better way more regulated and there's really no benefit in my opinion in trading forex so i'm very happy to see people finally making the right decisions and moving over to the futures market and in this video i'm going to show you exactly how you connect your trade of eight to your trading view i understand that a lot of people want to be executing straight from trading view which makes sense considering most people are charting on trading view anyway so in this video i'm going to show you how you connect your trade rate account to your trading view account and how you'll be able to execute orders how i personally calculate my risk size my pnl all that stuff on trading view in a very very simple way so without further ado let me quickly show you how you connect your trade of eight account to your trading view account so here we are on the trade of eight application now you do not need the actual application downloaded you can use the browser function of trade of eight uh, i personally just have it downloaded then if we come up here into the right corner you'll be able to see application settings if we click that, you'll get different options. I want you to come over here to where it says add-ons. Once we click add-ons, you'll get different options. Mine already says activated at TradingView. Yours will just say activate. All you do here is click activate and then jump on to TradingView. So now we are on TradingView in our browser. Then what we do is we come down here, we find Tradeavate. Now, if it isn't here, you just scroll down and then you'll see this see all brokers option. You click that and then you locate trade of eight. Once you've located trade of eight, you simply click that you, you type the credentials needed for you to lock in. That is your trade of eight username. You'll find that with, the, with whatever prop firm you're using. I am personally using Apex. They are currently running a 80% off all challenges. So if you are a person just getting into futures, I highly recommend the Apex prop firm. They have never denied me any payouts and I've not really had any issues whatsoever with this firm. So I highly recommend Apex if you are just starting out. Anyway, what you do then is you click connect. Once you click connect, you'll be locked into your trade of eight account and you're ready to trade. Right. A lot of people will then ask me, well, how do I actually trade? What I personally do is I like to use what we call limit orders. And there's a really, really simple way to place trades on TradingView. So let's say I wanted to get in right here, right? Or let's say I wanted to get in once price swept this low again. I want my stop loss to be this low and I want my take profit to be these highs, right? I, I pull out the PL tool. Again, you can find it up here. This is a long position, so I choose the long position tool. I place it, I place my stop, I place my take profit and my entry here. If I right click it, it will say create limit order, right? Then I can come in here and I can type in, I am currently on the micro E S and P 500. And so let's say I am willing to risk 200, right? I'll type 30. Well, that's $187 risk. If my stop is here and my take profit is here with 30 contracts, I will be risking 187, right? So if I type 32, that now jumps to 200. And that is basically how I calculate my risk. Then you hit buy and you will have a buy limit here and a sell stop here and another sell stop up here to take profit. Uh, you, can, you can drag and drop those as you want. If you want to change your entry, your stop, your take profit, while after you've put the limit order, you can do so. It's very, very smart. If you want to instant execute, right? Let's say you want to execute a trade instantly. You see a price moving up to a key level. It's reacting from a key level. You want to get in now. You can hit the blue one if you want to buy the market. You can hit the red one if you want to sell the market, right? Now, this will not leave you with a stop loss or a take profit. So what you do to take off the trade is you either manually, manually click the X that will appear, or if you short 32 contracts, you can then buy 32 contracts to get out of the position. Vice versa, if you buy the market, with 32 contracts, you can then sell the market 32 contracts to get out of the market or out of the position. And that right there is basically how you connect your trade of eight to trading view. It's very, very beneficial. It's very easy to use and it's very modern. A lot of these old school platforms like Rhythmic or Ninja Trader, right? They are very, very old. They're very outdated. Ninja Trader or sorry, Trading View is not outdated. It's very new. Uh, and that is probably why a lot of people want to be trading here. One thing that I do want to note, though, is if you are trading multiple accounts and you are using a trade copier, you will not be able to execute 
on trading trading view with all of the accounts because there's no built-in trade copier on trading view so if you are a person who are trading multiple accounts and you are using a trade copier you cannot use trading view that is strictly for one account only let's say you have two accounts you don't want to copy trade two accounts okay well then you can actually use trading view and then swap in between the accounts now with trade of eight i currently only hold one account i am using rhythmic for the most part uh so if you have multiple trade of eight accounts a drop down menu will appear right here just like this one and when you click that all of your accounts will show up so if i had another account i could place a limit order on this account I could click the drop down menu. I could choose another account and then place that same limit order. That is basically how you do it on TradingView. But if you're running, let's say 20 accounts, uh, you might not want to do that every single time. So a trade copier is definitely the better option and you'll not be able to get that trading through TradingView. So I hope you enjoy it. And I hope this cleared up some confusion if you are a new trader, especially if you're new to futures. Uh, if you have any questions, you can just leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer all the questions that I can. So thank you a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.